works you are looking at. Eh? It will enable you to compose or frame your shot properly. Yeah. So, so this is it. So I want to see the reason why I said that this thing should be practical. If you look at this, if you, okay. If you look at this lens, this is a lens. I have detached it from the main camera. This is a lens. See, here we have, this is focusing ring, sorry. This is focusing, eh? this is focusing. If your object is not sharp, the director will tell you, please focus, focus. If it is okay, we tell you focus. <laughs> it, will, it will tell you it's okay. This is focus. Uh, this, this one, this one, this one. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> okay, this is this one. Eh? This is what they call iris, iris, that or is, aperture. That's <laughs> the they call it aperture. <laughs> The aperture. That time I was saying that, uh, for instance, as you are there, if you close your eyes now, just like our normal eyes, if you close your camera, if you close your eyes, you won't be able to see anything. You will never see anything if you close your eyes. And this is what they call aperture. This one controls the, kind, the, the amount of light that enter into your lens. Just like saying that, for instance, if you are coming from outside, if you are coming from a sunny day, very hot sunny day, if you are coming from outside, coming to a place that is, you know, that is not well lit, the tendency is for you to open your iris. You open your eyes to see because you are moving from hard daylight into a poor lighting arena. So you open your eyes very well to see. But if you are on outside, if the sun is so high, you tend to close, you know, you tend to close your eyes. That, that is that you are reducing your iris. You are trying to reduce the amount, to control the amount of light that is entering your, your light. That's why some of us, maybe there is a, the word sun, they say sun shade that could control the light, the amount of light entering into their light, into their eyes. So this is a lens, hmm? a camera lens, professional. Eh? So there is, an, there is another place that, uh, you know, there is another place that you control your ND. For instance, if you are shooting interior, there is a place that you have to, you know, let me see. There is a place that you need to select your, uh -huh, okay. I don't know. Let me see if you can Sorry. see it. Sir? Sorry. In view of Sorry. Time, okay. Can, okay. We, okay. Can, we, can we postpone some of these demonstrations? Okay, 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 okay. Control, All right, uh, okay. All right, sir. All right. Sir. So let me just. Uh -huh. Okay, let me okay, let me just finish up. We have a practical discussion session later. We can do that. Sir. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, so camera, camera, what has to do with directing of camera, pictures, composition, framing of shots, framing of shots, camera movement, various camera shots. Camera angle, most of these elements of camera's works are interrelated. Camera directing or commands must be precise. A director must give a precise command. Quick and accurate. Cameraman must, must comply with the directives from the director during the production in order to interpret the idea of the producer into pictures. Camera movement. There are two types of camera movement. The camera heads move alone 
Why on top of the stationary tripod stand? Camera movement. The camera heads move alone. Why on tripod stand? Pan, tilt. Those are the camera movement. Why this something is on the tripod stand? You can pan right, you can pan left, you can tilt up or down. No, another one is the whole camera and tripod moves about. I, for instance, if you want to, if, if a director says Dolly, you Dolly, yeah, Dolly, truck, arc, or crane. It could be crane down or crane up. So pan, pan is the horizontal movement where the camera is on the tripod stand or pedestal during the recording. A situation, a situation may arise where there is need for a quick or a rapid move, which looks like a blur. Sometimes when you ask the cameraman to pan, quick panning, you know, it looks blur. Is it just a, is a quick movement? This kind of panning is referred to as switch or whip pan. Tilt. Tilt is the vertical movement of a camera when it is stationary on the tripod. You either tilt up or down. Pedestal, the movement of a camera up and down as the center up on that as the center telescoping column of the producer is raised or lower. That's what they call producer. It's a movement, it's a movement of a camera. You can producer up or down while it's on tripod stand. Door, dolly. The entire movement of the camera on its tripod stand, it is usually towards or away from the subject. You can doll in or doll out. It is also referred to as a track. You got tracking or, you know, or track out. Hello? Truck. Hello, sir. Truck. Entire. Truck. Entire movement of the camera, either left or right. That is truck. You can truck right or left. It is also referred to as a crab. If you don't want to say truck right or truck left, you can also say crab right or crab left. You either truck or crab or truck or crab left. The use of the following subject. The use, okay, used to follow a subject that is used to follow the performer. I can't Crane. Remember. Okay, I'll turn. Crane. The crane camera moves here atop along arms of the crane. You crane up or down, or boom up or down. The horizontal movement of the crane arms is called tonguing. That's what Wilson said, 1985. So let's discuss uh, the camera. Uh, The camera are categorized into two groups. Domestic camera, those are the cameras that we use at home, all the small, small ones. The one they use for party and all this, those are the domestic camera. Industrial one is the one that I've just shown to you. Industrial camera, that's a professional camera. Camera is one of the vital equipment in television production for the purpose of presentation. The camera will be divided into three parts. The camera I showed to you will be divided into three parts. I've shown you the lens, which represents, you know, just like your eyes. The free finder I've said earlier on, and uh, the body, the electronic body. There are, lenses are divided into three parts, lenses. We have various lenses. We have normal lens, normal lens angle. That's, that one come with the camera. The wide angle lens sometimes will be attached. It has to be purchased separately, wide angle lens. The, what, what the wide angle lens does is that maybe if you have 20 on a row and at a short distance, that camera will be able to take everyone. So that's what wide angle lens does. 
The telephoto lens, the third one, telephoto lens, is it just it has defined itself just like a, uh, you know, a shot from a distance. Telephoto lens, a shot from distance will bring it closer to you. So that is what a telephoto lens. So all cameras come with normal lens. That is normal lens. The other one has to be purchased. The other two wide angle and telephoto lens must be purchased, as I've said that, depending on the type of job to be used for. The camera has uh, filters. We have ND1, camera filters, ND2, and ND3. So for instance, ND1 is used when you are inside the studio, where we have a uh, less lights. So you can augment your aperture. And the ND2 too, and the two can also be used inside. But when you come outside, when you come outside, and the two and three can be used. Hmm? So this is, uh, I, I wanted to talk about, uh, about microphones and uh, I don't know if the time will permit me to talk about microphones. We can do that one in the discussion session. Okay, 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 okay. This is what I have for now. Uh, this is what I have for now, sir. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Yes, Thank you very much. Uh, I did uh, very grateful. May God have you the word in good terms. I'm Thank very you. grateful. Um, Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank we you, sir. actually have, uh, as you can see, we have, this is uh, almost 11.30. And, uh, okay, sir. We should move fast. So okay, so uh, we can start the second session by Alaji Shola Hassan, okay, uh, who has been the former uh, director of the Lagos Daily Operation, and okay. also the present, current director of public relations at the Adequa University in London. So I hand over to the moderator, uh, Mr. Blatif, to continue the program. You are most welcome, sir. Mr. Ablatif. Thank you very much. They've gone Mr. Ablatif. Mr. Okay, Ablatif. Thank you so very much for the wonderful okay. presentation. I'm sure that every one of our students who are in attendance today have uh, you know, learned one thing or the other. Uh, without wasting too much time, we would like to call on the second uh, speaker in person of Mr. Shola Hassan, who is the former director of Radio Operation Services, Radio Lagos Broadcasting Corporation, and currently the public relations director of Al Hikma University in Ilori. Thank you so much for honoring our request for you to present here today, Mr. Shola. We, we are sure that we're going to benefit a lot from this. So the floor is yours, please. You may commence your presentation. Hello, good, good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Colleagues and friends. Thank you very much. Can we have your slides, sir? So that we can project. I've sent it to you already. Okay. Okay. I'll forward it to the board. Okay. Um, uh, uh, it's my pleasure being given opportunity to share my experience with students of Nile University. And uh, the topic before us is managing a radio station. And from the paper afforded, I want to start by saying changing and complicated environment of radio in terms of technology, social, economic, and political forces has affected the operations and management of radio stations in Nigeria and across the globe. And uh, what do I mean by this? I'm just trying to let us know that the process of doing this business before now is not the same thing 
as where we are in our own days. Because when we started radio operations, we are not having a lot of technological advancement that we're having today. On that note, we use most of this thing more or less on the analog processes. But today, we are actually having of technological wise, social wise, economical wise, and political forces. All this has affected the operations of the system. And the uh, radio station and people who work in them are faced with a lot of interesting time in operations and management of radio. What do I mean by this? In running a business of radio, you need to get your people, there must be uni, uni, uniformity of operational philosophies and vision. And when your vision is properly articulated, then you can get value for the projection of your station. And these complicated and rapid changes actually plays a lot of demands on the managers of radio stations. This bring a lot of challenges to managers of radio stations in terms of appropriate response to meeting the trust of the audience. Today, there is increased competition from radio and other traditional media at local, regional, national, and global levels because of the new technological means of broadcasting like broad, broadcast, internet, audio streaming. Because today we can listen to things without being there. Because the, with the radio guardian that has been embedded in our apps, you can be everywhere and listen to radio. And this brings a challenge to station management and regulations. Because based on digital radio broadcasts, via satellite and internet virtually, anywhere in the world, you can pick any station of your choice. And this brings us to a lot of issues for the coming generation. Radio has no bounds anymore. In the past, we are restricted. In the past, we are restricted to a lot of areas in terms of you can only transmit within the particular geopolitical zone. You will be you will aware that most of our frequent valid today as I'm in the glory, I can receive a station in Kaduna, Abuja, everywhere in the world, including Switzerland, without and shows that I can be part of the program. And this make it for us. Oh, okay. In the past, the regulators, which is the National Broadcasting Commission, regulates, monitor all stations in the country and sanctions us. But today, with the digitalization, who wants to sanction us? Who wants to monitor us? Who wants to say this content you are pushing out is not valid? It's no more. And that shows the challenges we have in this present dispensation of uh, technological wise, as our technology has affected the broadcasting. And let's look at the commercial stations too are now part of much global media 
Some of you hello, may still hello, hello, transcend sir. national hello, policies sir. and laws. Social issues hello, are both complicated. Hello, Mr. I'm Sam. with you. Hello. Maybe you yes, can just yes. summarize what you have said in the last two minutes because it was cracking. Oh, summarize okay. what you said. We said last two minutes because it was cracking. Oh, okay. Okay. Sir. Okay, let me. What I'm saying in essence is that. With the issue of technology and economic and political and social issues today in the broadcast industry, it has actually made it difficult for us to be able to be guided, to be monitored and controlled. Because anywhere you are, you can listen to a radio station of your choice all over the globe without anybody censoring you through the digitalization and technological development. And that is what I'm trying to emphasize on. That in the past, the regulators, which is National Broadcast Commission in Nigeria, make it very difficult for you to do certain things. Once you, once you violate the transmission line, which makes it difficult for most stations to do and undo. But with the present technological development and the political interests of some people, you can listen to every anything all over the world. In the past, we see radio as a transit medium. But today, you are available everywhere for everybody to listen to. And that assists you in getting a lot of things done. And that is what I've just mentioned earlier on. With a uh, with a guardian, radio guardian on your telephone, you can monitor anywhere in the world with ease, without any stress. And that is very germane. And at the same time, the economically radio station now compete for audience. Because we have a lot of people now into radio, either through local, national, or otherwise, we have competitors all over the globe. You, know, you have to do effective marketing, effective programming, and analyzing your program before you can get people to patronize you. Let's say, for example, Lagos for, for now has over 50 something stations outside the one that are online. And with all this, you are competing with a lot of varieties of people. Which station do you want to listen to? And that's why anybody managing a radio station in Lagos for now, your content must be rich enough and must be robust to accommodate all shades of people living in Lagos in order for you to be able to get your economic share in terms of your commercials. Otherwise, you'll be, you will not be able to meet your budget. You'll not be able to meet your expenses. And this is the reason why a radio station manager must try as much as possible to be up on top of his own programming. Effective planning gives you value for money. At the same time, give you value for you to be able to pay your staff all the time. Let's look at overview of what radio looks like today. The radio operation in Nigeria consists of government, private, and community stroke institutional radio with different regulatory framework for each radio. Also, National Broadcasting Commission also licensed independent production companies and web and broadcasting operators. Recently, the very use of the term radio has become an issue of discourse because it's now, it's now available on so many platforms other than the provided by the traditional transmitter receiver model. What I'm trying to say in essence is that today, you are not waiting for any transmitter or engineer to manipulate certain things for you. You can broadcast from anywhere you are. For example, this, what we are doing now can be transmitted in a related radio station that fall in line with our thoughts and philosophy. 
without being here with us. And nobody can cut them off. If they do not allow them to get the signal here, they will get it in other part of the world, which is giving us a mileage today in effective management of our stations. But if you lack content, nobody will receive you. And this platform, including digital audio broadcasting, digital multimedia broadcasting through mobile devices, web radio and podcasting is actually posing a lot of challenge for radio operation in Nigeria. There's a process called step factors, which is key, social, economic, political, and technological and cultural factors. These are the ones that I've just explained not too long ago. An understanding of the radio industry landscape and the main sector in Nigeria consists of government, private, and recently community and institutional radio, which is mainly approved by for tertiary institutions in the country. Radio, radio station managers need insight into changes in national and global matters of media ownership and concentration and important concepts such as public service broadcasting if they are to have an informed framework to work within. What do I mean by this? I'm actually trying to emphasize that one, we need to manage our radio station through our concept of programming. And when we say through our concept of programming, because effective manager, any radio station today, you have to do with administration, news and current affairs, programming, marketing, production, accounts, and engineering. When we look at all these areas, let's look at the administration, for example. In effective management of a radio station, you must first and foremost do your audience search or 